Good morning and welcome to summertime in Northern Ireland. That is why our world, this little part of the world is so green because look at that flipping rain come down. Morning folks, it's me. And I just want to show you, don't look at my horribleness of a crappy kitchen. This has to be gutted, look. Damp everywhere. Whole thing needs to be gutted and started again. But this is not going to be, oh, I'm, look, I'm watching Hannah Lee, look. I was watching Hannah Lee Duggan, right? My inspiration for me going to be doing homesteading and shit like that. But anyway, hopefully you can hear me over the sound of the rain. If you look at my skylight, Ooh, oh, hang on. It's absolutely, I'm afraid of my phone dropping on the top of my forehead. So um, yeah, absolutely pelting down. So yes, I was watching Miss Hannah um, getting stopped by the cops in Georgia. And I was having a lovely morning coffee, just piddling along before I start work. And then it really came down in bucketfuls. But you know something? I love that sound. I know it sounds quite loud, but I absolutely adore it. But here's the other thing. Look how dark my room. Now, it actually looks brighter in the film that I'm, rather than me actually looking at it in real life. In real life, it is so dark. Oh, there's the dog. Um, it is really, really dark, but for some reason, my camera seems to brighten it up a little bit. Um, but yeah absolutely pelting and there's another disgrace my uh my front garden i still don't know what to do those are sort of like the original style of a uh, little kind of um quarters i think mine's one of the only ones that still kind of got that style of garden everybody else seems to have modernized theirs with like paving and whatever i too will probably modernize it as well but yeah look how dark you can sort of see now how dark this room is once the, um, oh, there's a lovely shot of Rosie's bum. Thank you very much, Rosie, appreciate it. Um, and then you go into the kitchen and it's so much, so much brighter and obviously clearly so much louder as well. Um, wow, look. Can you see it's starting to have like rivulets and flow down to the back, the back gate. Yep, absolutely pelting. And hopefully, you can see it's sort of splashing on my little roof as well. Hopefully, um, as I, I don't know what I'm doing here, I'm just scrolling around. Oh, by the way, I want to show you these. Shirataki noodles, right? No carbs to talk of. All fiber barely any calories and they work just like noodles and i am in love with them you get four in this little pack i get all my goodies now this kind of stuff and my i live on curry powder at the moment well not live on but i make loads of curries i've got some uh mushrooms um <laughs> For some reason, I ordered an entire kilo of raw cacao powder. I have no idea why. I think I was trying to do 250 and did two times 500 instead of two times 125. Anyway, up here I have, that's all my coconut milk. That's another thing I'm living on at the moment. But here's the other thing. I wanna show you into my fridge. Don't look at the mess, don't look at the mess. Well, apart from my fridge being completely empty now, um, here, one of the freebies that I got with the company, which is buy Whole Foods online. It does an awful lot of organic stuff. For free this week, they were giving away an entire kilo of dried apricots. And I'm like, what the hell am I going to do with a kilo of dried apricots? I don't even like dried fruit. I mean, I do not like dried fruit. What did I make? Well, clearly made a curry. Now that was made yesterday. It's got tomatoes, celery, chicken, 
uh, courgette, peppers, chilies, that curry powder. Actually, it's, I've got the cashmere. That's made with cashmere curry powder, not the Thai one. Same thing, only different. Um, coconut milk, blah de blah blah. And what else? A pear went into it and the dried apricots. And do you know something? Those dried apricots were amazing. They gave a beautiful sweetness to the curry. So the company that I do all this purchasing from, and they're very reasonable, and if you join them as a VIP member, which is totally free, every week they give you a little, um, a little deal. So I think this week's order, because I did the order last week, this week's order is a kilo of quinoa, organic quinoa. Anyway, there you go. Buy, for those in the UK, buy whole foods online.co.uk. This is not a sponsored video because who the hell would be sponsoring all my bollocks? Um, it's just me giving them a little shout out. As you can see, I've been going buck mad, dried peppermint for my tea because I have a little clear teapot. Well, it's supposed to be clear. Um, and I have flowering teas, which I love. So then I stick some peppermint in as well in the little carafe and uh, I can make sort of like a blooming peppermint tea. And yes, I did, I have no idea why, but I did purchase a soda stream. I've always wanted a soda stream. My mum wouldn't let me get one when I was a kid. So I got one and I've barely used it. Story of my life. Easy O yogurt, again, bought it, used it, tried to set up a subscription with them. They don't do subscriptions to Northern Ireland. Thanks very much, Easy O. So I've barely used it again since. So this is just a little, I was gonna say a little two minute video, it's now seven minutes, um, showing you summer in Northern Ireland. Look at that. And by the way, that bird bath looks a bit gross just because there's leaves falling into it. So those are the leaves at the bottom of the bird bath because I literally live under a tree. And in the summer, that's why you get barely any, um, I don't know if you can see that, like, I don't know why I'm not sort of putting the thing, in. but I live under a tree. So uh, yeah, well, actually I actually live under about two or three trees which is why it's also quite dark in here. So anyway, there you go. Why is Northern Ireland and Ireland as a whole so green? Because it constantly rains. Love to you all folks, talk to you soon, bye-bye.